In my life, I've been shot by a lot of different things. But there's one weapon I have yet to test. Introducing the Arc Flash Labs EMG 01B, AKA a railgun. Opposed to using gunpowder or any other propellant, this railgun uses electromagnetic force to fire 4.6 gram steel dowel pins at 46 meters per second, or roughly 151 FPS. While 151 FPS doesn't sound like a lot, the user manual states that the muzzle velocity is capable of breaking bone. This is why our objective is to find out just how much damage a railgun can cause to a person, and by examining the data we collect during and after the experiment, we'll hopefully be able to determine if railguns are the future of firearm technology. Here I go hurting myself again. <laughs> I mean, making educational content. That's what I do here. It's all, all education, so. Up first, to demonstrate the firing capabilities of this here rail gun, we're gonna be first shooting at some targets. And Mark, this has a secondary purpose. I want you to get some practice in because later in the video, I got a little bit of a accuracy challenge for you. All right, so try your best here. I feel like we should be shooting some space items. What? They have watermelon and LaCroix in space. You been to space? I've dabbled in space. Keep shooting, go, 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 more. That stopped. You stopped the trigger. <sighs> Oh. Whoa! Pause! <laughs> you have a trigger malfunction. All right, Mark, take it all out this time. Roger that. Let's go. You got the trigger stuck again! Give it to me! Oh, I'm getting it stuck. Whoa! All right, that's good. Mark, as much as I would like to blame you for those firing malfunctions, uh, I really can't because despite this costing, you know, upwards of $1,600 with everything included, for whatever reason, they decided to include an aluminum, aluminum foil trigger that just bends and gets stuck, and then the gun doesn't shoot. So, uh, you know, Arc Flash Labs, maybe work on your triggers. They suck ass. Anyways, let's take a look at the damage here. As we can see, the, the watermelon got, pen it got penetrated, all right? I'm sure they're in there somewhere. <laughs> Not sanitary at all. My yeah. dogs can eat it. See, there, oh, we, oh. There's some, that's some data, okay? So it made a, a solid penetration into the melon. And you know, humans are made of mostly water, like a watermelon, so this could be me. I don't know. Uh, then when we look at the cans, lit them. Sliced. Sliced, look at that. It's pretty impressive. The question is, what did we learn from all that? I think mostly that the, 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 the gun's trigger sucks, yeah. But, it, I mean, it does seem like it packs a little bit of a punch, so. Slice the can. Slice the can, penetrated deep into a melon. Uh, it's further than I've ever gone. <laughs> same, dude. Could, I don't, could it kill a person? I'm happy you asked, Mark. That's what we're here to find out. Mm. Mythbusters. So, without further ado, uh, let's, 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 let's do. Let's do. Let's do. It's pretty sunny on this planet. Yeah, yeah, the future is sunny. The future is bright. <laughs> Mark my words. Anyways, it's time to shoot me. Where we'll be shooting me is quite uh, simple. In my right leg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a big target. Uh, that way Mark can't miss it. It's literally impossible for him to miss. Uh, and uh, I think- uh, Literally, I don't know. It's literally impossible. This is like a 28 inch quad, Mark. I've seen bigger. 
not around these parts. Anyways, we'll start with one shot just to gauge what happens. You look ridiculous. And those glasses. Excuse me? Test shot number one. This will be one small step for man, one large step for mankind. You may proceed, Mark. Right to the leg. Don't miss. Ah! Do it again, moving a little bit closer. Your aim was horrendous. Hit me more in the middle. Oh, uh, okay. Ah! Okay, okay. Well, yeah, that did a little bit of damage, but definitely not nearly as much damage as the sponsor of this video did to my arm, CF Moto. I, bro I broke my arm driving CF Moto. Ah. Uh, yeah. For those of you that don't know, CF Moto is a manufacturer in complete machines. ATVs, dirt bikes, side-by-sides, you name it, they probably have it. Also, CF Moto has over 500 locations in the US making customer service a top priority. Also, they have the best prices on the market when it comes to motorsports. So what are you waiting for? Click the link down in my description below. That way you can see all the dealership locations. Also, uh, make sure you keep your arm in the vehicle at all times. Why wouldn't I? That's pretty common sense. <laughs> well, sometimes maybe you think you could stop a rolling vehicle. That's completely logical. Why would I ever think that? All right, I'm an idiot. You remember, Mark, when I told you there will be an accuracy challenge? I do. Well, it's coming up right now. You see, I'm gonna put four dots. One, two, three, four. You have to quickly, in succession, hit all four of these targets. That's, uh, you know, how about circles? Circles are nice. No, 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 no. These targets individually. Does it look like I shoot guns for a living? They're just the part. I'm a freaking astronaut. So Mark is about five feet away. We're trying to make this easy on him because he is just that bad at accuracy in general. Um, I think it's because he uh, shakes so much. So it just makes the uh, target look, you know, bad. A poor craftsman blames his tools, Mark. As does someone who blames this. Well, that's just poor craftsmanship. Mm. Uh, uh, uh. Pretty okay, that, good. That, that, that was slightly worse than the last time. Oh, I was a little, yeah, a little bit closer, you know? Yeah, I, I know. I wasn't sure. I know, but what? <laughs> Not bad. I am interested to see the slow mo because, as you can see, it looks like they're hitting me flat. You see that? Oh. But if we inspect the, the accuracy here, you know what? I'll be honest, obviously, it didn't hit any of the targets, but that's an improvement for Mark. Should I try it from 50 feet? No, you're good, you're good. So I'm starting to suspect that, uh, you know, the thing said in the user manual where it could break bones is maybe just to keep them safe legally. Uh, I'm highly doubting this can break bones, but there is a full auto feature on this. So I say we give that a try. Uh -huh. You just light me up in the leg and we see what happens. Did you take your vitamin C and D? Always. That's why your bones aren't breaking. I double up on the D. Oh, double D. Double. I, I don't feel good about that. I, can we cut that statement? No. No. All right. Ah, stop, stop it! Ah! My neighbors heard that one. Oh, oh. What am I looking at here? What do you mean, what are you looking at? Uh, I mean, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> well, talk in your head, all right? Sorry. The railgun also has a burst fireware, so it shoots three rounds. So we'll do three bursts in the row, but here is the deal. I'll take three bursts, not react at all. Then everyone has to like the video, subscribe. <laughs> 
do all the good stuff and help us get to 2 million subscribers. Send this video to your uncle and your niece. I don't know why I picked those two relations, but it's not important. You just gotta do it, all right? Oh, all right. Oh, God. Oh. A deal's a deal. Your hand's touching a penis, Jake. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> All the blood. <laughs> Any words? Well, I mean, I'm assuming everyone liked the video, right? My uncle. Yeah. Liked. The, the, yeah, because the uncle that got shared the video liked it, and then the, the niece as well. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, upon further inspection, my leg is quivering. Look at. Can you see that? You see the quiver? Eh. Sure. Just, just trust me. It's quivering. It's a little right. windy. Were you, were you trying to say the wind would make my leg quiver? <laughs> yeah. I realize I'm not as in good a shape as I was, but come on, I, it's not like I'm that fat. I'm not saying fat. Just you know, small. I weigh the same weight, Mark. Just don't ask me to flex the other arm. <laughs> <laughs> Since we got the slow mo camera. We're just gonna get a slow-mo of my face as Mark does a full auto burst. We'll see what my face does in slow-mo, essentially. I'm assuming I look majestic, glorious, powerful, maybe pathetic, I don't know. Well, that's what we're here to find out, all right? You gotta promise me whatever face you make, you change that to your new profile picture. On Twitter. Deal. Deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got, it's... I got the blood on that one. Oh, thank God. <laughs> you looked majestic. Did you guys see smoke coming out of my mouth? Where did that come from? You're, you weren't well oiled today. That makes a human smoke? Okay. Well, when you don't blow smoke out of your ass, it comes out of one other place. You're half, you're half cyborg. You guys aren't helping me at all. That the cyborg comment, maybe. Right. But do cyborgs run on steam? Doubt it. That, no, you you're stupid. A, Shut up. If you, if you don't have enough oil, you're gonna you're gonna steam up. Mm -mm, mm -mm, that doesn't sound right. I just uh, had some. Uh, I was in a campfire last night, and I was just inhaling some smoke for fun, and it finally came out of my lungs. That's what you saw. That that's a dumb cyborg. Yeah. <sighs> After being shot a lot, we collected significant amounts of data. Let's take a look. Kabam! You know, I'm gonna be honest, it reminds me of when I made the worst slingshot entry of all time. Very similar damage there. Uh, however, we're gonna wait two days, see what happens to my leg, and then I will give you my final thoughts, and I will be able to determine, hopefully at that point, if railguns are the future of firearm technology. Do you think they're the future, Mark? I think this video is in this world. That doesn't sound very futuristic, does it? Oh, uh, I think that they... It was out of this world. If you have a lot of money, they're part of the future. <sighs> no, t t two days later. So it's been two days, and to probably no one's surprise, my leg is significantly bruised. What I found interesting, though, is that the steel pins weren't hitting me straight on, and instead, a lot of times, they would rotate and kind of hit me sideways, which you can see in the slow motion and by the marks on my leg. And while I cannot deny that this injury looks pretty bad, as someone who gets hurt for a living, 
I gotta admit, I was a little unimpressed. Because reading the user manual for these real guns makes you think that this is some kind of weapon of mass destruction, when in reality, it does about as much damage as a $40 slingshot that you can buy on Amazon. Ultimately, I think the technology for these real guns is super cool, and it's something you would see in video games or in sci-fi movies. And I'm sure in the future, as the technology improves and these real guns are capable of shooting the projectiles at faster speeds, there might be some practical use for these things. But as it stands right now, I feel like they're really expensive toys with really, really bad aluminum triggers. Seriously, Arc Flash Labs, fix your triggers. How are we supposed to make it to the future with aluminum triggers? It just doesn't make any sense.